So let's talk about core strengthening and lower stomach exercises. Here's the thing, everybody always wants to work their lower stomach, but when it comes to the abdominal wall, the rectus abdominis, it's one muscle. You really can't separate the upper from the lower. You fire the abdominal wall, everything's gonna fire. Really when people are talking about lower stomach, they're probably talking about the deep layer of abs, your transverse abdominis. It runs across you kind of like a belt. So what you wanna think about if you're thinking about targeting the lower abdominals, I would suggest really focusing on movements where you're drawing the musculature of your abdominal wall inwards like you're cinching that belt tightly around your waist, so you engage the deep layer. And then on top of that, adding spinal flexion to engage the superficial layer. So planks are great for core. Let's go over how you would do a plank. You're coming onto your elbows if you're gonna do a forearm plank, where your feet are about hip width apart, your elbows are right underneath your shoulders, and you wanna think about not letting the belly just hang out. Because if you just hang out in plank position without engaging your core, you're not getting the benefits of the plank, which is to pull the belly muscles in, fire up what most people are talking about when they say lower stomach, and then pulling the abdominals in even deeper, and just breathe and maintain this position. You could hold it for 30 seconds, you could hold it for a minute. Just as you get stronger, you would maintain the length of time longer and longer. If you need to modify, you lower the knees. Again, making sure you don't collapse, but like you had a vest on and you were gonna button the vest together, you wanna make sure the buttons on that vest don't burst open and collapse. Pulling the belly in, engaging, careful not to sink in your shoulders, but maintaining the alignment through the shoulder joint. If you wanted to make it harder, again, coming either just one knee would be the next progression, last progression would be here, or even raising one leg, as long as you can do it without changing the position of your pelvis. Great ways to engage your core, the lower stomach, and you could even take that plank into a side position. Still keeping in mind the pulling in of the TVA, the transverse abdominis, and then raising up to engage along the whole side of your body. You could do it here, you could raise one leg, lots of different variations, but the purpose is to strengthen your core muscles, which is going to have you uh, be able to have better posture, and it's gonna aid in any other exercise that you do, because it's going to be what supports your spine through all different types of movement.